Liz Rice has dismissed accusations that when she was the US National Security Advisor, she approved the use of torture. Well, the former Secretary of State caused a storm when she said if harsh interrogation techniques were authorised by the President, then they weren't illegal. Monica Villamizar asked her about her controversial statements. By definition, if it was authorised by the President, it did not violate our obligations under the Convention against torture. Thank you. This remark, in response to a student's question about waterboarding at California's Stanford University, set off a controversy last week, with some in the U.S. media comparing it to President Nixon saying that when a president does something, it is not illegal. In her first appearance in Washington since leaving government, Al Jazeera asked former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice about that statement. He said that waterboarding, because uh, it was look, authorized I'm here by to be with these kids, all right? I know, but no, everybody no, wants to know. Go ahead. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. Because waterboarding was authorized by President Bush, it does not represent a violation of any conventions against torture? No, actually, let me be very clear. Thank right. you. The president said he would not authorize anything that was illegal. It was not legal because he authorized it. It was because he said he would do nothing legal and the Justice Department and the Attorney General said that it was legal. Recently declassified congressional documents show that Rice approved the CIA plan to waterboard detainees, applying the technique of simulating drowning on them. She's certainly changing her story. Either way, this is a, a serious problem for her. In the documents that have come out that have been declassified, it's her name that is there either authorizing or, as she puts it, conveying the authorization. Well, conveying the authori authorization from whom? She only worked for one person. So she's in a bit of a bind. Either she authorized it or she conveyed the president's authorization, who she clearly does not want to implicate in a torture, in an uh, illegal torture scandal. Ladies and gentlemen. President Obama has said waterboarding is torture, but former Bush administration officials maintain it was not and that it prevented further attacks on the U.S. I did not intend to say the Obama administration has left the door open to future prosecution of those who authorized torture, but says it won't go after the people who carried out those orders. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Washington.